let's take a look at acetic flavour. A flavour that's found in pretty much all beers. It's caused by acetic acid, a chemical, an acid, produced by yeast during fermentation, but which in high concentration can be originating from contaminant microorganisms, including bacteria and wild yeast. It gives people the impression in beer of a vinegar-like character or a sharpness, a sharp acidity. Now, at low level, that can be quite refreshing. It can be, make the beer appealing. But at high level, it makes people think the beer has gone off, and it has. And in fact, the alcohol in the beer has been turned into vinegar, making the beer defective. In good, well-produced beer, acetic acid is produced by yeast during the fermentation. And the more the yeast grows and the faster the beer ferments, the higher the level of acetic acid. So long, slow fermentations give you low levels of this compound, and fast fermentations give you higher levels. But this flavour, as I mentioned, can also be produced by contaminant microorganisms. For example, if you have tap beer, beer from keg dispensed through a tap, and that tap is contaminated with microorganisms from poor hygiene control, you'll get growth of acidic acid bacteria or wild yeast such as Brettanomyces. When that happens, the beer changes and becomes more acidic and can put consumers off drinking that beer. Now, to assess the acetic acid, we can do it both on the aroma by taking a short sniff. That short sniff will give us a sharpness to the smell, a little bit like smelling a bottle of vinegar. But you can also evaluate the acidic character by what's called the retronasal technique. In the retronasal technique, we'll hold our nose, take a sample into our mouth, and then breathe down through our nose, like this. And this fills the inside of the mouth with a vinegar-like character. Now, most beers have got close to 100 milligrams per litre of acetic acid. And at that level, it makes the beers refreshing and having the right level of acidity. But some beers can go much higher when they're defective, sometimes as much as 200 or 300 milligrams per litre. Now, there are some beers, though, where the acetic acid is a very important character. For example, Belgian Lambic beers, spontaneously fermented beers, contain very high levels of acetic acid. And there, they're a natural part of the beer flavour, and the Lambic would not have the correct flavour without the acetic acid. The more acidic is the beer, in other words, the lower the pH value, the stronger will be the flavour of the acetic character. So this flavour is more pronounced where the beer has a low pH value. So this is a flavour you can control by good attention to hygiene and also by controlling the growth of your yeast during the fermentation. An important flavour to control and an important flavour to learn how to taste.